My name is Vahid Sintos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning or this afternoon. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Well, hello, everyone. I'm uh, Ramon Jongschaat, uh, and I'm tuning in from the Netherlands. Awesome, awesome. A lot of people don't know what it is that you do. I know you're a TED speaker. You've done a lot of activities, but describe to us what is it that you do professionally? Well, uh, I did uh, obviously some TED Talks uh, and public speaking for students, uh, but in my daily life, uh, I'm a triathlete. I'm an uh, ultra endurance athlete. Um, so what I basically do is um, I do a very long, uh, long distance races, such as a triathlon, um, which consists of a 3.8K open water swim, followed up by a 180 kilometer uh, time trial on the bike and finishing the day off with a marathon. And I'm actually the youngest one in the Netherlands uh, who has ever completed one uh, and I'm also a European champion. Okay, so that just tells me you're a very crazy person. That's yes, definitely, I am. That's definitely the definition of it. So throughout doing all these different things that you've done, what are some of the things that you could give recommendation to younger entrepreneurs or business owners or people that are just young? What are some of your, some of your recommendations for them? Well, uh, for the young people, well, I myself started uh, doing this when I was 16 years old. Uh, I'm now 18 years old. Um, and on this journey, I've learned that uh, every time there is a setback or a failure, uh, you have to imagine that uh, your big goal is always there. That, you know, the day when you have a race day, uh, it's always there and you have to uh, sacrifice everything, willing to sacrifice everything and embrace the failures in order to grow uh, and to uh, get to the finish line on your race day. I mean, putting it all on the line, I guess, in your profession, you could say that on that day, you got to put everything on the line. But what happens while you're not racing or doing that? Because I see a lot of people, they see the finished results where they're looking at a guru, they're looking at a millionaire, they're looking at someone who's successful, and they just want, they're on their first step, but that person is like 10, 15 years into it, and they just compare it. How, what, what, what is your recommendation with those? Well, you, you, you must avoid, of, um, well, seeing yourself on your chapter 20, when you're on your first chapter. When you're on your first chapter, you have to set goals uh, according to your first chapter. And when you just start your business, I myself also have uh, several businesses. And you said, I want to make 10 million this year, but you're a small business that, that doesn't work yet. So maybe 10 grand this year is an awesome number and you will crush that number. And then you can move on to the second chapter, which is maybe more money, more clients or something else. So you uh, must uh, compare yourself only to yourself and who you want to be maybe next year or further in your life. But, don't compare yourself to somebody else because then you will always lose. So here's my other question for you. I know a lot of individuals and business owners and entrepreneurs, they typically have long-term planning. How important is it for people to have like their five-year and 10-year plan lined up or know about it or write it down? What are some of your recommendations there? Well, it's good to have a, a long-term plan. I myself also have it. I'm now planning for five years ahead. Uh, in terms of my races but um, when I started this two years ago I couldn't even imagine on, on the level I am now so it's very good to uh, plan far ahead but I would say it's even better to plan day by day because when you plan day by day you can set your daily goals and when you crush them you can set them for weeks or months or years and like for me as an athlete I can get injured or things can go, go very wrong in which my long-term plans can basically, I can throw them in the gas, in a, in a trash can, like you see with the coronavirus now. Like I've made plans for this whole season. I have a world championship in September, but it will probably be postponed. So there, go, there goes my plan. And uh, I will just say, focus on, uh, on your day-to-day -day, uh, goals and have a vision for a long-term, but focus uh, on your day-to-day -day goals. I agree with you. How important is it for individuals to have a coach or a mentor or some type of a guidance while they go through their journey? It, it's, it's the most important thing there is. Um, someone who can, um, who can ask you questions where you obviously don't think about uh, are very helpful. Uh, and I would say uh, my mentor um, is not someone directly related to me because people uh, related to me 
know who I am and know why I do certain things. And my mentor um, asks questions or um, does things differently because he sees me as a different person than someone uh, in my family or very close to me. Uh, and that's how you can grow because uh, if someone um, not from your direct um, direct circle sees some things, he sees it differently uh, than someone close to you. And then you can really grow. I agree with that 100%. What are some of the things that you think by doing this through this journey, what are some of the things that you have learned that you wouldn't have not learned if you, you wouldn't have done this? Because once you go endurance, once you go the whole days, I mean, all of these different, I mean, you have a lot of alone time. You're going to be in your own head. Yeah. What are some of the things that you've learned so far? Well, the first thing I've learned is that you have to love the process and love being alone uh, because you, it's, it's your journey and it's your journey only. Um, nobody cares about your finishing times. Nobody cares about your data, about your Strava results. Nobody gives a shit about it. Only you give a shit about it. And like I said, when you compare yourself to somebody else, except from yourself, you will lose it. And you have to be very strong mentally uh, and also physically uh, to overcome it. And you have to be willing to suffer and accept the days in the dark um, in order to uh, really to make it. Um, on Christmas evening, I was, I was training on my 18th birthday. Everybody had a party, but I was just training and I was on the grind uh, on the low in the dark. And in the end, it will pay off, but you have to be able to uh, sacrifice and uh, operate in the dark in order to shine uh, in the light. I agree with that 100%. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for taking this time and being with us this morning. Hopefully, we'll be able to do more videos. Definitely take a lot of videos while you do the next one, whenever it yes. is, so we can share with other people. And then maybe kind of uh, have somebody like follow you, and then when the thoughts come, just you know, relay that to a video where we could oh, see that behind the scenes, maybe possibly, because this is very, very important to document these. Always, always document it. Always have, have it. I appreciate you being here, mate. Thank you so much. No problem, mate. See you later. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.